My name is Daniel Bisson Chailly. I'm the game director of Tomb Raider. Um, we're showing off multiplayer here today in London for Tomb Raider. Uh, can you just kind of give us the the elevator pitch for Tomb Raider's uh, multiplayer? How do you describe it in a nutshell? In a nutshell, uh, it's uh, one of the pitch we used was uh, familiar yet different. We wanted something as a multiplayer that anyone can go in and play their own style and, you know, I mean, and get, you know, they, they, they feel familiar about what they need to do and in there. But at the same time, we want something more fresh, something that was different and that we're reinforcing the um, the themes of about survival and everything like that. So one thing that I pitched was like, it's asymmetrical. Basically, like Alien vs. Predator, mm. where you have the scavengers and you have the survivors. And survivors have to stick together like the Marines, while the scavengers are more like the aliens and they're attacking. And the other thing is that you have to explore Quake style. You have to explore verticality mm. and horizontally to find, you know, secrets, to find uh, traps, to find all the uh, elements in the environment to give you a boost or give you an advantage. I got the supplies, need cover. Now, I, th I think when the uh, multiplayer element of the game was announced, a lot of people's first question was why, why was the decision made to add multiplayer to what's always been a kind of a solitary gaming experience? It's a good question. Uh, one of the things that I remember I, I started two years ago, I was on the single player and also uh, I started pitching some ideas on the multiplayer. Uh, there's two reasons why we did it. The first one is very selfish of me, to be honest, I will say it. It's because a lot of people, uh, me, I, I play a lot of games, you know, a lot of games that... that the environment and the world is so rich. You feel like you're so into it. And you know, a single player of games is always a beginning and there's an end. You finish the game. And some of the games like, oh my God, it was awesome. I want to stay in that universe. And then I go, if there's any DLC, new maps, or nothing. I'm like, no. And then, and then I spoke with my friends. I speak with my friends. And my friend's like, oh, I was doing this, this, and that. Did you do that? And almost like, the world of that game continue outside of the game and we wanted to you know it would be awesome if we could play together how many times we say that and i know that uh, crystal had some success with guardian of light mm. and uh, people were all against that you know to say this is not a tomb raider once they released they stick to guns they, they really believe in that and when they released people were like oh my god it's kind of cool playing multiplayer together with friends. And uh, when Daryl came two years ago and, and started talking to me, pitching me, uh, saying, hey, we want to have a multiplayer, we had the same reaction as everybody else. Like, what? Multiplayer on Tomb Raider? What the hell is that? And then we, um, we start brainstorming, we start having some crazy ideas, and we say, hey, yeah, let's, let's do something. I think it makes sense. Survival, you know what I mean? Uh, also, uh, corporations, survival as a group, and then you have these enemies, like these bad guys, like more like scavengers, you know, like more like, like they are invading, griefing the players, and we start having some crazy ideas about merging co-op co co type of game with a uh, competitive type of game merging them together and having what we have right now we're presenting today, the like the rescue mode, asymmetrical goals and asymmetrical uh, uh, way of do, uh, achieving their goals. This rescue mode, can you, can you tell us what the objective is uh, for each side in that? Yes, the survival, okay, the, the, the rescue mode basically is that the survivors has to stick together get some med pack and bring it to a specific location. That are their goals. Once they reach five, five med packs, then they, they win the match. And uh, one, of the, one of the most important thing for them is stick together because when one of them go down, they can quickly revive each other. That was the special things about them. And also they have a more powerful, uh, more heavier type of guns. So they normally stick on the ground because they stick together and they are more firepower. While the scavengers are more like hit and run tactics. They go in, they have lighter, more lighter weapons, but they have the ascender, which is an ability that, per that permits them to zip line very fast up. So they use a lot of verticality, mm -hmm. but their goal is to kill 20 of them. So they have to not just get them down, but they have to finish them after that. Because like I was saying, the survivors actually have a speciality of reviving. So they go down and they can actually defend themselves. A lot of people were saying to me, God, I got killed by the guy that was down. Yes, roll and you know, do something like that. And, and, and people are like, wah. So yes, uh, that, that, that's what, you know, when you're playing Survivor, you feel like, you feel, you know, that you're, you're being invaded by these scavengers. You stick together. A lot of people start playing. They're playing like, oh, whatever, I'm going to play like other games because I don't know. And they start, you know, they doing their own stuff. And then suddenly they say, oh, my God. And then they start getting closer and closer from together. And that's where all the fun comes in. So uh, Team Raider, obviously, we, we said earlier, it's um, 
always been primarily a, a solitary experience. How, how are you going to ensure that people who are picking this game up are going to actually try the multiplayer? Uh, the thing that we do basically is that when 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 you play, we uh, one of the, the most key things that is super important is the matchmaking. Okay, a lot of games out there, and I I won't name them, but a lot of games out there, what they did is that they basically you know uh, diluted their matchmaking. So people were basically trying, but there's no one no one there because it was separate into ten different modes. What we we try to achieve here is that for people who actually will try, because like I was saying, people will finish. They will some of them will say, hey, let's. Let's try it, you know. And what we want to do is make it as easier for them as possible for the entry and the matchmaking. Meaning that even uh, even if they're not that great and they go against people who are much you know much more powerful, much more experienced, we have a, a concept we call you know in game design it's called uh, negative, negative feedback loop. Meaning that we bring the balance. A, a good example for that is Mario Kart. You know, mm -hmm. the guy who's actually in front. The guy from the back will, you know, the guy in front will have like not so very good abilities, while the guy from the back will have all these, you know, more powerful abilities. So to keep, you know, uh, the the adrenaline and the, the stress and the pressure, and uh, we're basically doing a lot of that. So making sure that uh, players will come in, even though they're not, you know, uh, a lot of experience, they can find if they explore uh, and and. and we give them a lot of, uh, of points just by playing. Even if they fail, we give them a lot of points to be able to balance it. Come on, reload! 